Hey guys, what's up? It's Lacey, and my daughter has been wanting a canopy bed, aka a princess bed is what she calls it, forever. And when she was at school today, I decided I was going to make her one, and I just thought I'd make a video for you guys in case you're wondering how I did it. Because I will be showing her before and after pictures of her, uh, of her room as we get it coming together. So anyways, what you're going to need is some curtains. I got these sheer ones from Ikea. I'll list it down below. They were $5 for a set. Then you're also going to need an embroidery hoop. Joanne Fabrics and Michaels are a really reasonable price, especially if you just go in there and you can find a 40 or 50% coupon. And often that's what I did. Um, I used a 23 inch embroidery hoop just because she has a twin bed and I wanted it to be large enough to where it was going to come down on the sides of her bed. It was going to be proportioned with the bed. And then you're also going to need some ribbon and you're going to need some S hooks to hang on the ceiling. And that's all you need for this project. I started off with spray painting my embroidery hoop white just because I didn't want the wood to show through. I kind of wanted it to blend in with the sheer curtains and not make it so obvious. So after it was dry, I just wanted to unscrew the embroidery hoop, open it up, and then slide the curtains through. This was kind of tough, and later I realized that I could have used, you know, like a Ziploc bag to put over the you know, screw part. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. And then you could just slide the curtain on there, but I was able to get it on there without tearing it up or, you know, um, ripping it or anything. So you just slide those around and I put, you know, like I said, two panels on it. And then I closed the hook up and I screwed the screw back onto there. This is where I messed up because I didn't want to put it too tight. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but when you're screwing this back on, don't do it super tight because you still need to open it to put the inside hoop into it. So it's not a big deal if you mess up because you can always undo it and put it back on, but you'll see here in a minute. I tried this several different ways and this is the only way that I found it to be secure and stable and to where it's not going to fall down and it's not going to be all lopsided when you go to hang it up. So what I did was I marked my three spots, my gross grain ribbon, and I cut them in three equal um, sizes, lengths, there you go. And then what I did was I took it, I folded it in half, I wrapped it around where I marked my hoop and then I pulled the ribbon through. Does that make sense? So here, I'll show you again what I mean, how I, how I did this. That way, you know, you have your open flaps on the bottom of it. And then what I did was I took all the pieces that were still opened and I put them together in the middle and I just took some white thread with a, uh, with a needle and I just threaded them all together and I just, did it like a lot to make sure that it was you know stable and secure and it wasn't gonna come down or fall down or whatever so ta-da then what you do is you take that hoop and you put it inside of the bigger one and then you go ahead and tighten it real tight and then I just took some two s hooks I hung them up on my ceiling and then I just put my ribbon through the s hooks on the ceiling so it looks really cute I can't wait for her to come home and see this she's gonna love it so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more videos I'll see you in the next video